So what we have is we're given a sub 1 equals 4, r equals 1 half, and n equals 10. And what they're asking us to do is find the indicated term so of this, of this uh, sequence. So we want to find the nth term of this sequence. Well, before we do that, we need to make sure that we figure out what the formula is going to be. So remember, we have a, um, a ratio, so we know that this is going to be a geometric sequence, right? OK, so the formula for a geometric sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to the n minus 1 power, right? So we got to know that. Now, what we got to do then is determine what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out what is this 10th term. So we're trying to figure out a of 10, which is going to equal a of 1, which we know is 4, times 1 half raised to the 10 minus 1. And then we just need to go into this. So we have a to the 10th power equals 4 times 1 half raised to the 9th power. Um, 2 to the 9th power. Anybody? Anybody? 2 to the 9th power? I don't know what 2 to the 9th power. Let's see, 564. Huh? 2 to the 9th power is 512. 512. 512. OK. So then we have a to the 10 equals um, 4 times 512. 4 over 512. Yes? No? OK. It's 4 times 1 over 512, uh, right? Okay. Yes? Yes. One, because remember, 1 half to the ninth is equal to 1 to the ninth over 2 to the ninth. Well, any 1 to the ninth is just 1, right? So then it's 1 over 512, OK? So then that equals 4 over 12, which, or 512, which we can reduce um, down to. So one over, um, one three. Yep, there you go. There you go. Any questions on that? Good? OK. Eat a clementine on the road. And of course, it squirts and gets on, sure.